everyone. Welcome back to the 2018 Granny Squares Crochet Along. Today we are making some cute little butterflies in our square. Um, yeah, we are starting, this square is worked in round, I mean rows obviously, instead of rounds, duh, sorry, apparently I'm getting tired. Um, so we start with chaining 29. And I've done that already, so you don't have to painfully watch me count out 29 chains. And we are going to start working in the 8th chain from the hook. So count out 8 from the, from your hook. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we're going to start with a triple crochet in that 8th stitch from your hook. Then we need to chain three and slip stitch into that same chain space that we're working in. We're going to chain another three and work another triple crochet. That's actually the start of our first butterfly. Hard to see it yet, but I promise it'll get there. Uh, we are going to now skip two chains and into the next chain, work a triple crochet. Skip another two chains and in the next one after that, we're going to work our little butterfly bit there again. So again, our triple crochet, chain three, and slip stitch into that same chain. Chain another three. Triple crochet into that same stitch. And there we go. Skip two chains and triple crochet into the next stitch. Skip two chains and work your little butterfly again. Triple crochet, chain three, and slip stitch to that same stitch, chain another three, and another triple crochet into that stitch. Skip two, and triple crochet into the next. Skip two, and we're going to work our last little butterfly in this row, so our triple crochet, chain three, slip stitch to that same chain, chain three, triple crochet into that same stitch, Then we're going to skip two and do a triple crochet into the last stitch. And there we have our first row. It looks a little wonky right now. I promise you it will. But it will straighten out, okay? As soon as we get some more of these rows in here it is going to straighten out. So our next row we are going to chain one and turn, but we can start working back the other way and put a single crochet into that same stitch, chain two, and we're going to triple crochet right into the center of our butterfly there, into where we put 
all the other stitches. Chain two and we're going to single crochet into the top of that single triple crochet that we did. Chain two and triple crochet into the middle of your little butterfly there. Chain two. You guessed it, we're just going to finish that all the way across. <clears throat> single crochet into the triple crochets from the previous round and triple crochet into your butterflies from the previous round. Awesome, so we are going to end that second row with that chain two and then a single crochet into the chains that we did there because those chains that we skipped from our first chain 29 counts as a triple crochet on the end there. So that last single crochet is our last stitch and now you'll see that it has straightened out a bit. Your butterflies are starting to form. See there's our wings of the butterflies. So cute. All right. I just showed you that wrong because I was looking in the camera as I showed you that, but here's the wings of the butterflies. Gosh, sorry. <laughs> so now we need to chain four to count as our first triple crochet there and turn that so that we can go ahead and work across back this way. So we are going to work our little butterfly stitches right on top of the other one so it's literally the same as the first row that we did. So do your triple crochet, chain three, and slip stitch into that same stitch. Chain three again, and then triple crochet into that same stitch. You're going to skip your chain twos here, and you are going to triple crochet into that single crochet that you made, and skip your chain twos again, and then go ahead and work another butterfly into this. So you're going to continue that all the way across, work your little butterfly and then a triple crochet, and then a butterfly, and a triple crochet, and a butterfly, and a triple crochet, and we'll get back to you. Alright, so once you end on that triple crochet there, that is the end of round row three, sorry I keep saying that, row three, and we're ready to chain one, turn your work, and we are repeating round row, I'm so sorry, row two here. So a single crochet in that same stitch, chain two, and triple crochet into the middle of your butterfly. Chain two, and single crochet into your triple crochet, chain two, and triple crochet into the middle of your butterfly. Now this square is just repeated the entire way through. You are going to, after you finish this row four, you're going to then again repeat row three, and then row four again, and then row, fr row three, and then row four again. And to give you a total of approximately your whole square should have about 12 rows. Now depending on how loose or how tight you crochet, I believe my practice one here that I did has 10. 10 rows and this is still a nice 6 by 6 square, right? So you know you might need up to 14 rows to get your 6 by 6 square. So just measure as you go along and count your rows as you go up, but yeah, just rewind the video if you have to, but it's very simple and very repetitive, so 
have fun with that one and make some pretty butterflies. And thanks for crocheting along with me. Bye-bye.